Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. And then we might win, but if it collapses... Coming back at you with some more For Honor. This one is uh, going to be a little bit of a different video. It's, I don't know if it's necessarily considered a rant, but it might be just a little bit of a discussion. You guys can chime in in the comments and give me your opinions on what I have to say. So the gameplay is just a background means for you guys to uh, just look at as I talk about certain things with For Honor. And the main thing that I think with For Honor is I think this next upcoming season is one of the biggest moments that for honor has uh in its in its recent history um just due to a, a bunch of different factors that i'm going to get into uh in in this video but i think that if it's not done correctly it could severely hurt the game in in just how uh, everything goes on with it uh and maybe just hurt its long longevity even though we've been here for a while but i just think that that could be pretty bad for it so Obviously, uh, at the moment, at least for me, For Honor, it's a bit boring, to be to be real with you. Um, I know, just in general, uh, that's kind of how seasons work right at the start. They're super, super fun. You have a bunch of new content and stuff to try out, and you have, like, you know, any reworks or new characters coming through, so that's always good. But as you get on uh, towards the end of it, obviously, you want more new content, and that's actually, you know, that's why they do new seasons, because uh, people want more content. But in this one, at least... Like, in the previous years, I felt like at least that I've been still chill with making content and stuff on uh, everything going on here. But I'm going to be honest, guys. My, I don't know. My, like, motivation this season has, like, just severely dipped. Um, and I think it's, I don't know, it's just for a multiple uh, reasons, to be honest. But, like, uh, I, I know that probably the, the quality of my content has suffered uh, just a little bit. And I, I do apologize for that. It's just finding good ideas is... Uh, it's a bit of a challenge, especially when you've made over a thousand videos on this game, and I'm, I'm personally not a huge fan of all the time just, you know, For Honor gameplay number 852. It's just, uh, I feel like it's a bit lazy, but, you know, and the, the algorithm and shit, like, there's a lot of stuff I could go into, but anyways, um, and, I, and I'm sure uh, some other content creators feel like that too, but... Yeah, just this season, I, I feel like my uh, maybe my creative juices aren't flowing as much because I wasn't having as much fun. But so let me know if there's any like specific content you guys want to see uh, come out from For Honor uh, that you guys would be interested in watching. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to take suggestions. And then maybe if there's some good ones, I could end up making those a uh, reality. And I think honestly, a lot of this is primarily due to testing grounds. So uh, we, right when we got the testing grounds that came in after the event, um, you know, obviously people on console didn't experience it, but... Like, it was such a breath of fresh air to, to just go onto the game and just, like, essentially play, like, it's a, it was a big update, right? Because seven characters were affected on it. So, it's, it's not just, like, you know, you got one update from one character and then you get some new content. Like, if, if they want to do this correctly, because I, I had so much fun, actually, in the testing grounds. And from what I've seen pretty much with everyone else is they had a ton of fun as well. So, uh, in general... I think that it would be advantageous for the developers of For Honor moving forward to, like, release all of them at the same time and then, like, move another batch of characters into the testing grounds. Obviously, I understand if, like, one or two of the characters still need some tweaking and changes and then they're not really, like, gung-ho on putting them out right then. But if they are, like, just... If they're only spacing out these characters, like, through the course of year five, I think that's a very, very bad decision. Um, I think if you drop them pretty much all at the same time and then continue to put more characters in the testing grounds, it, A, gives a bunch of new stuff to play. You know, people have to learn a, a little bit more stuff, and just the all the options that the characters had, they all felt more viable in pretty much every situation, so that was really nice to see. And, uh, and just in general, like, I know people are talking about, yeah, it's just a, it's a bash meta now or whatever, but I've always come from the belief that I think it's better to have all the characters be good and viable and, like, fun rather than, you know, nerf down all the characters. So, you know, because once you nerf down the characters, it, it, it kind of hurts the gameplay, too, even though if they're still on, like, a level playing field. If you just bring them all up to where they're, like, good characters and can be all played, I think that's pretty, pretty decent. You know, if you get mad about someone being, having a bash, but you also have a bash, there you go. So, that you can also get your damage in. Um, obviously, you know, some characters will need tweaking from time to time, but I think just in general, if you, like... Let's say the next season, they just launched it, and it was, like, just Shigoki and Aramusha or something, and then the rest of them came way later. I think that would be pretty bad. I think that would hurt the game quite a bit, uh, especially in the content-wise. Um, because the testing grounds, like, if they keep doing this and keep, like, upping the characters, 
just so that they feel much better, right? If you bring in, I don't think there's too many uh, more characters that need like that that much assistance when we actually are going into the testing grounds. Like after this wave of characters, you know, a, a couple of characters that just come to mind were like Raider, Orochi. Uh, uh, Shinobi, um, and maybe like a little bit on Nusha, and I think for the, or, or maybe a little bit of Shaolin as well, just for like openers and stuff. If some characters can like get help in there, I think then we have like a really freaking good cast of characters because holy crap, without the testing grounds, dude, I clicked on the game and I was just like, my, my life is in shambles, dude. I was like, where's the fun? Where did it go? They've taken it from me. But, uh, Victory. yeah, I'm in, and, and I'm sure the console people, once you like, get a chance to experience it i think it would be great a great update and it would keep you guys interested through most of the season if they launched pretty much all of them at the same time because you know with uh it's like it was almost like completely different games because normally you're just used to seeing the fucking four same characters over and over you see uh, it's a fucking black prior tiandi conqueror and griffin over and over in every single game that you play uh so this one had so much more variety in terms of the characters you know that that were coming through and i think that would make uh just makes it much more fun because you have to learn to go up against uh a whole lot more uh characters and different play styles and everything and i think that would just be fun um i know that they're also releasing uh two characters this year i mean correct me if i'm wrong i think they're releasing two characters and if it's the same kind of style as what they did uh last year they'll be releasing it on what uh season two and season four respectively um i don't know any like uh, specifics on what the characters are going to be if it's going to be like one samurai one viking if it's going to be two vikings if it's going to be two Wu Lin, maybe who, who knows but uh in general i think that the character needs to maybe have a bit more positive reception instead of griffin like griffin on on release i at first i was like he felt pretty good when i was playing in like the early access but i was like i didn't know if he was gonna be incredibly strong and he's you know he's incredibly strong i'd say he's pretty solid um but then again you still can deal with him i think i just bitch a lot because i'm a baby boy but uh in general i think that the new character has to also be very appealing and uh have like just some sort of uniqueness to them um i know that they kind of had I know some issues, too, that people were having was, like, I don't know, recycled animations or whatever. I wasn't a too against that because, like, you know, if you're playing, like, Warmonger, I mean, there's only so many ways you swing a sword, right? So, I mean, it's it's kind of similar in length and stuff to Ward and Sword, so, of course, some of it was going to look the same. But this new character, I would like to see, uh, you know, something completely unique, uh, maybe, like, an even more, I don't even know, fantasy-esque weapon. I know a lot of people talked about a sight. I thought a scythe would be cool, but uh, I've always wanted a rapier in the game, but I, I, I don't frankly want another knight, knight to be put in, uh, so I don't think I'll be getting that wish granted to me. So, um, With this, I don't know if we have like a For Honor 2 on the horizons, but I think like coming up to this next season, um, if because I've, I've just, with other people I've talked to as well, like they, they don't like, they're not like upset at the game, it's just like they're not feeling as much motivation to play the game because... I don't know, it just feels like, it, especially for the PC people, um, but uh, I'm sure console is also just a daily struggle because of lag and input delay and all that good stuff. So, um, in, in general, I think that this is probably one of the most important seasons coming up, uh, which should probably go live in like mid-June um, for it. So, I mean, you guys can let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's fine if they release, you know... Uh, if it's a new battle pass with just like one one new character also coming out and maybe like one or two of the testing ground changes or do you think that they need to seriously have like big updates right on this thing because that's one of the things i think for honor struggled with is their updates are kind of few and far in between there's not too many balance like the it feels like there's only like there's like a big update once a year and it feels like there's not too many like other changes within so if they're gonna do big updates i think they should do them like at least every season uh to have like you know just bring in the variety you have to constantly evolve your game if you want people to keep playing it right and they they have done a good job to an extent because you know we're still playing it in its fifth year of uh of being a game so that was kind of what I wanted to, to talk about today, because, like, the testing ground changes just, it, it made the game so much more enjoyable, and I actually was really enjoying myself just playing in general, and I I think most people would in, enjoy as well once they're actually in the game, just having, you know, being able to have characters with, with more movesets and uh, just more like tools to open up people and stuff i think makes this game uh more fun in general um obviously you can do 
tweaks and stuff if you need to nerfs but uh, i think it, it's probably a good idea for the developers to uh launch all of this at once because then i mean the the content it's just i uh, i mean i could be being a little bit greedy because of my own content or whatever but it's just like i uh, there's just not too many things in the game right now that are like completely interesting you know i've done it in the past but it's just like ah cool dude i don't really want to make a video about a signature or anything or what have you and most of the stuff on the battle pass has already been done and you know i'm just it's just it's just one of those things where the the game has a bit of a lull and uh i think yeah we're almost done with the third campaign so it'll be two campaigns left and uh if i recall so that'd probably put us in i don't know early june uh for the for the launch of the new one and yeah even right now when i'm being a little bit bored i'm, I'm sure other people are too if by by june i'm sure that's gonna be like oh my god please give me something um but i'm excited you know even another thing that could really get people interested in playing the next season is is executions that are uh unique for each character i know that for the last like few of them they've been doing pretty much just like three or four different executions but they're purchasable on all characters if they were to go with unique ones again i'm sure that would spark a lot of interest as well uh if they're not you know specifically ready to bring out all of the reworks but you know the game has evolved so much already since it had first came out in year one and i'm sure a lot of people can see that but we do need to continue to evolve uh, the game to keep players interested especially people who have played it for as long as i have and other people you know who have thousands of hours and wasted their life could have been doing so much more but instead you started playing a, 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 a fucking game like this and uh, wasted oh, too many hours just too many um that uh i'm hoping that we get some uh interesting stuff in the future and hope that uh we just continue to uh change and have good stuff because this was like one of the first patches or testing grounds things in, in general that we've had uh, or public tests or whatever that there was pretty much overwhelmingly positive feedback and if if that's so i mean that's moving in a great direction so uh hopefully that all gets like launched at the same time so that people can just have you know more to play more to look forward to and uh gives a little breath of fresh air to the game so thank you for listening to my rant i probably said like uh 13 minutes worth of uh, of words and stuff that could have been probably summarized in about five minutes i do apologize tend to ramble on a bit but hopefully you did enjoy again i'd like to have some discussions in the comments let me know what you think if this is a super important season that's coming up for for honor my dog's just biting uh, a toy and throwing it all over my mat so sorry if you hear that in the background but yeah let me know what you guys think about that in the comments love to have a discussion with you guys and uh hope you're staying safe out there appreciate it and uh i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace